Hi everybody, welcome to our Facebook Almost Live with Naval Station Everett Community Recreation, MWR. I'm Janelle. I'm Jessica. I'm Rachel. And today we're going to give you a quick shout out for what we've been doing recently with Community Rec and what we have coming up. Um, first, before we start though, I want to encourage you guys to leave questions and tips, ideas that you'd like to see for the next Facebook Live in the comments below. After the video is done, we will get to all of your questions and answer um, anything you guys can think of. So feel free to ask away. Okay, so what have we been doing recently? Uh, we took some people up on a snow cave weekend where we went up to the Mount Baker area and we dug snow caves and then spent the night in them. That was super fun. I think we had four patrons mm -hmm. and it was absolutely beautiful. The moon was out. Our snow caves were pretty successful. It was my first time, um, so Rachel helped me out. So <laughs> everybody, really, yeah, everybody was warm. Yeah, it was a really <laughs> good time. What else? So we also had a snowshoe trip to Artist Point, which was also on Mount Baker. That was a lot of fun. We had amazing weather. The snow was great. We got everybody up to a place where they had panoramic views of a bunch of mountains. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Yeah, that was really beautiful. Yeah, it was. Uh, we also did another book spruce and trivia um, in late February, which was really fun. Um, yeah. I think, what was the book we were reading? Oh, um, <laughs> something in the water. That was it. Something okay. in the water, yep. Yeah, we went to Crucible Brewery, um, did some trivia after we talked about the book. It was mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Awesome. <laughs> and then this past weekend, we also did a Blue It Pass snowshoe, uh, which was great. We had great weather. It was beautiful, bluebird skies, um, and everybody had a really good time. And we stopped in Leavenworth for some pizza on the way back. So that sounds very cool. And then last but not least, we had our superhero initiative at Jim Creek. That was great. We saw a lot of kids and their families with costumes on. They're just as their favorite superhero, supervillain. So that was great to see everyone get into that spirit. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Um, if you guys recently went on a trip with us and you want to share your experience down in the comments below, please do so. The first person to give their trip recap will get $25 towards their next outdoor recreation trip. This month, I wanted to do a staff highlight for Jessica. Jessica has been with us for a very long time, and um, she will be moving on to her next job in May. So, Jessica, what is your role within community recreation? Well, my role with community recreation is I'm a guide, so I take people hiking, snowshoeing, on beer and wine tours, do just a little bit of everything. So basically, I take people around Washington and show them our nice, beautiful state. All right. <laughs> what has been your favorite part of working with MWR? Honestly, meeting all these new people. So with every trip, I see new faces, and it's great to be able to take these people out and show them like a bunch of different hiking spots, places to snowshoe, grab a good drink. It's been great to meet a bunch of new people. Awesome. What was your favorite trip? Oh, it's so hard. I think my favorite trip probably was Mount Adams. So that was a three-day trip. We summited Mount Adams, which I can tell you was not an easy mountain summit, uh, but it was great to experience that with a lot of great people. Everyone had an awesome attitude, and <laughs> given the conditions, you know, that was a big plus. Awesome. And what will you be doing after MWR? So in May, I graduate with my degree in mechanical engineering, so I'll be working for an aerospace company right after that. Awesome. Super cool. Well, we're sad to see you go. I know, I'm to miss everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we're really excited for this opportunity for you. Thank you, guys. All right, so our guide insight for the month is going to be shoulder season. So what is shoulder season? Some of you may have heard this term and referred to like travel, um, like hotels or travel destinations. Mm -hmm. It's just um, going to a specific place outside of its peak season. So for us as outdoor recreation lovers, that is like hiking or backpacking in the early spring or late fall, just outside of that peak range um, that you would normally do your chosen outdoor activity in. Yeah. yeah, the benefits for that is usually there's a lot less people, so you don't have to share the trail with as many people. Usually the days are nice and clear and cold um, and usually really, really pretty in the mountains. There's also a lot less bugs that you have to deal with. 
Um, and then also it means that you can backpack pretty much year round, which mm -hmm. is great. <laughs> so yeah. 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 So with shoulder season, you want to dress appropriately. So with that, you want to make sure you have as you know appropriate layers on because you can always take layers off. So it's good that you know you have appropriate layers on just in case you get stuck in a storm that you're not expecting because you know you think it's going to be summer and you get a snowstorm like we just had. Yeah. So a layers. Make sure you have your layers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, considering that you are going to be preparing for more weather than you would in the summer, you want to make sure that the gear you're bringing is up to par. So that means making sure that your sleeping bag and sleeping pad are warm enough to keep you warm. Um, so like maybe your 30 degree bag for the summertime use won't be as good as like a 15 or a 20 degree bag would be. Um, always pack your rain gear because the weather is so unexpected and changes. Uh, a warm hat, a thermos, or a stove to have a warm drink or a hot water bottle is really, um, really awesome to have. And then I usually bring my micro spikes um, even well into the season just because if you're at higher elevations, you're never going to know where you might run into some snow patches. So it's always good to have that little bit of extra traction uh, in your pack. Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. So let's go over what we have coming up for the next couple of weeks. So this Friday we have a Stevens Pass Military Appreciation Shuttle, Ski Shuttle, um, Friday the 15th, and we also have one coming up on Saturday the 6th. We also have a Santa Palbor Yoga Session this Tuesday the 19th, and again on Thursday the 4th of April, so come out to that. Yoga is great, it's great way to relax, especially being able to stretch inside and not worry about being stuck in the cold weather. Yeah. And then we're also going to have a moonlit snowshoe on March 23rd. Um, that'll probably be up in the Baker area again, yeah. mm -hmm. which is really pretty, um, especially if we have a full moon out. Mm -hmm. It just makes everything really, really pretty up there in the snow. Yeah. We also have a Mazama Ridge snowshoe on March 30th which is almost full. So if you guys want to sign up for it, do it now because we're going to run out of spots. And that's down by Mount Rainier. It's going to be absolutely yeah. beautiful. I'm really excited for that one. And then on April 6th, we have another Sowinga coming up. So if you are, again, into snowshoeing and yoga, that's a perfect one to hit up. We will go do some yoga and then hit the trail and do some snowshoeing. And after that, it's where we'll stop off at a winery. So that's going to be a lot of yeah. fun. All right. And then Last but not least, we will have a Mountain Loop Highway Snowshoe on April 7th. Um, do we know where we're doing that one yet? I think we're just going to park at the Deer Creek Gate, and I okay. believe we're going to try and walk up to the Big Four Ice Caves. All right. Yeah. And it's very pretty up there. Just that road as well is just really, really pretty. Yeah. So. Okay, so you guys know how to get signed up for classes. You can go uh, on Facebook, over the phone, my FFR or you can stop by in person. And then don't forget, we have our next event coming up, which is Jurassic Park this Saturday from noon to four. It is gonna be a blast. Last year was absolutely amazing. We had so many people and we had such a great time. Uh, I think this is probably one of our more popular mm -hmm. events and it rocks, it is so cool. <laughs> um, one of the things that was really popular last year was our walking tour. So we take you guys through um, through the forests of Jim Creek and show you guys our dinosaur nests, and it's super fun, really awesome. What else do we have going on? Well, we have laser tags. So we have T-Rex versus Raptors laser tag. We also have our reptile aisle coming out. So we have a lot of reptiles to come see and get into the spirit of Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. So looking forward to that. Yeah, we've got um, a dinosaur egg hunt and a fossil dig for you guys to um, participate in. And then at the end of the day, we will watch one of the Jurassic Park movies. So it's gonna be super fun. The event is free, once again, this Saturday the 16th from noon to four. Um, and then keep an eye out throughout the month. We will be posting some tips and insights for you guys. And our next Facebook Live is going to be Wednesday, April 10th, same time, six o'clock. Thank you guys for joining us.